Hi everyone. So here I'm going to tell you about the swing program to find the factorial of a number. We can use any type of IDE, NetBeans or uh, JCreator or uh, Eclipse. But here I'm using NetBeans. Um, so as you know already, uh, we, are, uh, we know how to create a Java program for a simple factorial, for finding a simple factorial. But while it is going to be used using Swing, we will just go to File. We will create a file and then proceed with the explanation. You can start with a new project. So it is going to be a Java, prog Java project. It is going to be a GUI form example. So I am giving here it as uh, Swing programs. Okay, finish. So in this swing program, now I'll have a new file which is going to be a swing GUI form. This is related to forms. I'll just go with a simple Java program. It is a Java class. Next, and we will give here the class name as fact. Okay finish so this is created okay let it be we will delete out that now we'll start the co source code from the beginning see for any factor for any program you must first understand what is the concept behind this what is factorial what is factorial factorial is nothing but we mention it as i'm giving it as a comment statement Factorial is nothing but we are giving it as n factorial. For example, if I am giving 3 factorial, it means it is 1 into 2 into 3, which is going to be 6. Okay. I, I think you are aware of this concept. Now we will start with the program. The first thing is we are going to import the swing library javax.swing.star. This don't need much explanation because we know that this is Java X means extended Java dot swing library is invoked in it. Then we will start with the class name. The class name and the file name should be the same. This also you know class fact. I am giving the same fact here. And one more thing is the class name. It is better to start with a capital letter. Okay. I am starting the class now. So in this class. For any class, what we have to do is, we have to understand that we are going to give a number as an input. So, I will initialize and declare a number. Okay. I am declaring a num variable. Okay. Now, we will go with uh, public static void main. You know that this is the first statement where the Java compiler will start its execution. The Java compiler will start its execution only from this statement so i am starting with this class okay so this is the main class so in this main class what i am going to do is i am going to create an object for this class the class name is fact for this fact i am creating a object f equal to new fact okay i think you are aware of this uh, concept class name then you can write any object name for it you can write f1 you can write objf any name you can give for it object means it is an instance of the class a copy of a class okay equal to this is the keyword for creating a new class new again class name this is the syntax okay so now we will proceed on with the next step where we will start reading the program. So for this what I am doing is I am going to give a separate method or a function for it. This is the object name f dot. I am giving a function read. So this is the function I am going to declare now. You can see here I am going to declare a function public void read. Okay. What you will read from this what you will read from this? You will read a number. Okay. So that is the number what I have declared here. Sorry, this has to be here. So we have 
started with the read method in this read method we are just going to give a number as input so i am giving a variable called num okay so just what we are going to do now we are going to receive it from a dialog box which is from the swing component so what i am going to do j option pane dot show input dialog of this is initialized so the what i am doing is here i am going to declare it as null i am going to give the command what i need enter a number okay so with this okay now what i am going to do this input which i received through the j option button pane i am going to parse it to an integer integer dot parse int sorry it is small parse int of okay so integer dot parse int of i am going to close it again here you understand now so what i am going to give actually this is what i need enter a number this command so this command i am making it as a dialog box from swing button swing uh, component and this value what i received through this dialog box i am giving it as a i am changing it to an integer and supplying it to the variable num okay so this is over this input we ha i have received so with this input what i have to do i have to find a result which is going to be an output of this function factorial of f dot num so what happens here this f dot num is nothing but what i read from this read method so this f dot num will be given as an argument to the factorial so what i need i need another function public int factorial of int n okay so what i am doing now i am going to check the condition if uh, n is equal to if n is equal to 0 then i have to return the value as just 1 otherwise what i have to do return n into this is a recursive function you know that i think factorial n minus 1 this is how we do here 3 into 2 into 1 means it means n into n minus 1 okay this is a recursive function it is a repetition function okay so from this what i am going to do this result is going to be there so i have to display back the result out j option pane dot show message i am going to display the output as a message box okay show sorry it is small show message dialog of i am initializing it to be null comma this is the output what i am going to give what should be the result output there plus result okay so i am finishing it so this is the program which is done let us uh, compile it and execute i am saving the program file compile there is no error then run 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 the file I'm giving a number 3 as input okay the factorial is 6 you can see now see now when i am running it run file this dialog is what is related to this line read method it is going to be a show input dialog it is going to receive an input from you as a number i am giving a number okay so after execution it comes here where it is this uh, show method uh, which is going to display your result which is a show message dialog there is no input dialog here it is a mes message dialog okay 